Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tutorial on the Yushin Rabbit 2x2. Let's get started. So I'm going to show a step-by-step -step tutorial how to solve this, just in case uh, if you happen to try this out, or I just, you know, just doing it, if you want to enjoy something to watch too. Um, but yeah, if you ever get a chance, if you ever try it, I'm going to do a tutorial to show you step by step. So I just want to show on the bottom, just to give you an idea, uh, just a picture of what it looks like, because we're going to start with the bottom layer. So um, what it looks like on the bottom all the way around. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to scramble it. Um, yeah, so I mean, I have... Uh, I have, one second, let me just finish scrambling this. So I think that's a pretty good scramble. I mean, it looks pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty scrambled. Um, but yeah, I have seven of these different, uh, animal two by twos. And, uh, yeah, these are great. So what we'll do is we'll start with the bottom layer. Uh, with the, the feet here. So we got one here and we just keep it right here. This one uh, needs to come next to that. So we'll figure out a way to sort of uh, bring it around and see what we could do. Like that. Bring it down. Bring it over. Let's see. We could bring it around maybe like this. There we go. <laughs> Just had to bring it to the back side and then swing it around. So, um, yeah, usually the first pair is pretty easy. Then the second pair, you just might have to do a few things to put them in place. Um, here's another piece that will go here, I think. Oh, wait, no, no, it doesn't go here. So it goes, it goes on this side. So what we'll do is we'll bring this down like that. Bring this over, bring it back. So it did fit, it's in place. Um, we have three of these together. So we just need one more and it's right here. So this one goes actually right here. So what we'll do is we'll move it out of place like that. We'll bring this down with this foot here, the bottom part, the back end, bottom match it up like that so it has these two pieces like that then we bring it up in place like that so more or less you know you just you want to match up the two and then you might have to just shuffle it around a little or scramble it around a little and do like an algorithm if you have to like you know like a right invert down right down invert stuff like that to try to put it in place um so yeah, now we have the bottom layer solved. That's what I was trying to show like earlier, um, like that. And uh, let me fix my lighting. I don't know why. Seems like uh, a little bit darker on this side. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, let me adjust my lighting. Maybe that's better. Okay, so on the top layer, uh, what you want to do is get one piece standing up, okay? So we have one piece standing up, and we're going to do the soon algorithm. And it should put one more standing up, or it might put more. So we'll do uh, starting, you put it on the left side here, if you have one piece standing up. Or if you don't have any pieces standing up, they're just all down like this. You just do this algorithm, and it should give you one piece standing up. So we'll do uh, right, like that, up, right invert, up, right, and we do up two, one, two. So this matches again, like that, and then we bring it down, like that. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> All four pieces uh, stood up. <laughs> They're all standing, so that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not. You're going to get other cases where, like, these two pieces 
are spread out like this on the side. You just have to do like the front right up algorithm to put it in like you do on a three by three or a two by two. Um, so yeah, what we'll do if you, you know, you're going to get this case, sometimes you get this case. So, uh, usually most of the time you get this case where you have one piece of the face here, one piece of the face here like that. So what we'll do, uh, let's see here is we'll just put this one right here in front on the left side. And then we're going to do the T perm because it should, uh, this piece here should come right here. So the face matches. So we'll start with that. We'll do a, uh, right, then an up. We'll do the sexy move first, right? Up, right invert, up invert. That's a sexy move. Then you do a right invert. You do a front like that. Then we do a R2, one, two. We do an up invert, a right invert, another up invert. We do a, a right, up, right invert, and then we do a front invert like that. So yeah, to see the that piece came from here, came over here. This is solved. So what we do is on the back side, it is solved, but you know you still got this piece sticking out like here, the the like that. So what we gotta do is the T perm again. And then it flips it, it flips these pieces upside down. And then our rabbit puzzle will be solved. So same move. Do a right, up, right invert, up invert. That's a sexy move. Do a right invert, a front. Do a R2. Then we do an up invert, right invert. Do a up invert. And we do a right, up, right invert, front invert, like that. So if we take a look um, on the back side, that those pieces are not sticking out anymore. Uh, they flipped <laughs> like that. So it's sealed like that. It looks like it's sealed or in place like that all the way around. So our rabbit uh, two by two is solved. And that's the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial how to do this. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's not too hard once, like if you know how to solve a two by two, um, and maybe you've tried some shape mods, uh, this is quite easy. I've done other tutorials on the other animals too, like the penguin um, and some of the other animal tutorials on my video list, if you ever want to. I did a lot of, I did many tip tutorials on them too, like the panda, the penguin, a few others. So um, just in case if you get different combinations or you get different, uh, you know, different shapes on top and you're not sure, you could just look on my video list, scroll down, you know, just keep scrolling down. Maybe about a year and a half ago I did it or something like that, a year ago or two years ago, something like that. So, um, but yeah, just want to do a tips tutorial to show you step-by-step -step how to solve this. And uh, yeah, if you ever get a chance, check out one of these animal two-by-twos. They're really fun, um, something different. And I think they're cool looking, really cool. It's something different, you know, because the you got the regular two-by-two. -two, it's always the same. But with this, the pieces turn and shift and shape. Um, really fun puzzle to play with. Uh, yeah, I always have a great time whenever I you know, sit back, I'll do some solves on these and stuff like that. It's really fun. So, um, it's Saturday here in Chicago. Got my McDonald's coffee, Mick Cafe, and I'm loving it. And I got plenty left. <laughs> so,
So yeah, thank you for joining me for uh, this tips tutorial on the Yushin Rabbit 2x2. I'll have the information in the description below about this puzzle. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching tonight. Yeah, I really appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very, very much. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below and I will reply to you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And happy Saturday, everyone. Have a great night.